so much, everybody. You know, I was thinking about uh, our anniversary, and sometimes, you know, when you get the anniversary, you start to reflect, you start to reminisce a little bit. And uh, I just was thinking, I'm like, man, I was here for the, the 25th anniversary, now I'm here for the 35th anniversary. It's been 10 years. It's a decade. And uh, I just personally want to thank every single parent, every single young person that you have allowed me to be a part of your life. And I get emotional. Over the last 10 years, I appreciate you, I love you, and I just want to thank you for letting me be part of your life, letting me be your youth pastor, and I just want to thank you for your love, 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 let us pray. Father in heaven, God, we thank you for this great day, this, this day that we can celebrate the 35 years of ministry you blessed one day of Christian community and church. God, we thank you for all the readers. We thank you for the readers. We thank you for the singing. We thank you for the, the rhyming, uh, the emceeing. God, we thank you, God. Uh, you, your presence is here. We feel you here right now. And God, I pray as we open your word, as we continue to worship you through your word, I pray that you would encourage Everyone who comes to sign on this day, they would not leave this place the same. She would transform them by your word. It's in Christ Jesus' name we pray, and all God should have said <laughs> So we're talking about legacy today. And the definition of legacy by Webster, it's, it's something tra transmitted or received from an ancestor or predecessor, someone uh, from the past. And an example of, of, of a legacy would be like something like this. She left a legacy of money, right? The, the, the artistic creativity lives, with the, lives, in with, lives within the, the children of somebody. Let the legacy of artistic, I can't get that word out, like artisticness. Yeah. Um, but it, it's passing on something from one generation to the next. And today's text, we, we, we're going to talk about that in a minute. But we all want to leave our mark. If we're honest with ourselves, we all want to leave our mark. And the truth is that we will leave a legacy when we die. The question is, what type of legacy will we leave? Will we leave a, a noble legacy or will we leave a bogus legacy or a legacy that, that is filled with a lot of turmoil and, and craziness? And so the question is, you've got to ask yourself, what type of legacy will I want to leave? What type of legacy are you going to leave? And what type of legacy do you want to, to leave and live right now? And I remember when I was a kid, you know, when I asked, you asked me this question, what my legacy wanted to be. The year was 1991. I was a fourth grader at Sweeney River Middle School in New Jersey. And I had the hot top coat, I had the turtleneck, I had the pet metal shoes, and I had the baggy pants. And let, me, let me give you some, 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 some little truth about the baggy pants. It wasn't the baggy pants, mom and dad, that go behind your butt. No, it was the baggy pants in the middle. They were just baggy just because. It was almost like a hammer pants. So he had the pad on the shoes. This was 1991, the new Jack Swing era. And so there was a talent show going on at Swing River Middle School. And I had a buddy, his name was Alex Brown. Alex Brown was in fifth grade. And I said, Alex, we got to get to this talent show. He said, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. And so by the time auditions came around, Alex backed out. Alex said, I ain't, I ain't, I don't have to do this, man. I said, what you mean, Alex? We got to do this, man. We got to make our legacy. We got to win the first ever talent show at Stephen River Middle School. Come on, man. It's 1991. So he said, no, I can't do it. I said, all right, I'm going solo. All right, I'm going around. Solo. So I go to the talent show, and the music drops. And I'm sitting there, feeling the music. <laughs> When you get a little older, when you get a little 
got older, you, 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 like, you want to let you more than just dance. And so as I grew up, I said, you know, I, I just want to be the right person. I don't, I don't, want, I don't want to dance anymore. But we all want to leave a legacy. We all want to leave a mark. And in 2 Timothy, chapter 4.